Hi, my name is Paul Sandel, and I am from the Twin Falls 19th Ward. And for the last well, nine months, I have been serving in, in Peru, in the Peru Trujillo North Mission, speaking Spanish. And well, I was called back uh, because of these difficult times, and I was also called to make this video about things I learned during my mission and also to testify of Jesus Christ and how my life was changed during the mission. There are many people that I've seen changed through, through missionary work, through my own preaching and through others' preaching. But the thing that happened most during my mission was I became converted unto the Lord. And that, I believe, and from what I've read and also from what I feel is the most important part that I did during my mission was have that personal conversion happen. I... I've learned a lot <laughs> about the promises of God. I've learned how to trust in the Lord. Um, I've learned how to listen to the Spirit a lot more. And it has really changed my life. I am no longer in a spiritual slumber. That's according to the things of righteousness. And I am ever so grateful for that. Well, um, first of all, I want to talk about how I've seen the promises of God affect people's lives. I have taught a lot of people over there in Peru. And most of the time, the problem that they had the most was about marriage. People there don't get married. But as I was able to explain the concept of of the life eternal I really came well they really came to to want that for their family they wanted that their family can be can be together forever they really want that and I've seen that affect a lot of people to motivate them to really keep pushing forward, keep pushing past these difficulties that we have, these distractions that there are, to accept a date for to be married and to finally get married. That was so incredible. Uh -huh. And then after that, to help them also receive the promises that there are in baptism, that they were able to see those promises in their lives. The thing that we are called to do as missionaries is teach the people about the gospel of Jesus Christ, the doctrine of Christ. And it is ever so amazing to learn more about that and to understand more about that. I want to be very clear about what it is so that if you do not know, that you can find out. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the only way that the plan of mercy can be can take hold in our lives. It's the only way we can be saved in the kingdom of God. It's the only way we can return back to our Heavenly Father is we must have faith in God and in His Son, Jesus Christ, and in His atonement, that it has the power to heal. Yes, we must repent. Every one of us needs to repent every day. And that is one of the requirements of, well, 
of being saved. Third is being baptized by, by immersion. To be physically born again. And then to be baptized <laughs> in the Spirit. Which is when we receive the Holy Ghost. When we receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That is when we are baptized by fire, by the Holy Ghost. And finally, the part that I know that most of you as members are in, well, you have to be in this one, is the, the enduring to the end. That is the most important one. Is that the one that really matters. The other ones are the way in. And that en endurance, that continual repentance and growing your faith, that, that is how we gain God's life. I testify that the plan of salvation is real and that we can be affected by it in our lives. I have been affected by it. I know that this church is true. I know that it is His church. It is Jesus Christ's church on the earth. That has been confirmed to me before and after and during the mission. And I am so very, very grateful I know that to be true. I invite even each and every one of you to continue on this path, continue repenting, continue getting better every day. I testify that Jesus Christ is our Savior, and I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ, amen.